Hello viewers, welcome to the Bachelor course of Population Studies. Today, we will discuss trends in population planning. The rapid increase of population has got an adverse effect on the national economy. In addition to this, increasing number of births has a bad effect on the health of the mother, which in turn hinders social and economic development of the family. Considering the magnitude of the problem, many developing countries, India in particular, have given prime importance to family planning issue. The government of India launched a family welfare program in 1950 to accelerate the economic and social development by reducing the population growth. However, this program has met with only marginal success. This is because people of India being multi-religious, multilinguistic and multi-ethnic have a different level of awareness and acceptance of family planning. Moreover, a large proportion of Indian population reside in urban slums and rural areas where poverty, social customs, illiteracy, ignorance and superstitions prevail. Hence, the problem of non-acceptance of family planning becomes an acute one among these population subgroups. So, it is necessary to develop a special program which can tackle the family planning needs of different groups. But before launching a special program, a thorough understanding of trends of family planning is essential. In 1952, India was the first country in the world to introduce a national family planning program. Since then, program objectives and strategies have been revised several times. In 1996, India's National Family Welfare Program was renamed as Reproductive and Child Health Program. This was expanded to meet the broader health needs of women and children. In 2000, the Indian government adapted a new national population policy with a medium term objective of bringing total fertility down to replacement level by 2010. India's new approach to family planning emphasizes promoting contraceptive use among eligible couples, providing a choice of contraceptive methods and ensuring high quality care. An important goal is to improve the health of women and their children by encouraging spacing between births. For this purpose, various national family health surveys were conducted to provide national and state level information on fertility, mortality and important aspects of nutrition, health and health care. Growth of population. Population growth of a country or state is affected only by a natural increase and net overseas migration. Natural increase is the easiest to define. It is simply the population growth that arises from the difference between the number of live births and deaths over a specified period. This chapter presents various levels and trends in population 
growth, fertility and selected mortality indicators in India of the empowered action group states and two non-EAG states. Eight states have been designated empowered action group states by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India on the basis of their high fertility and weak socio-demographic indicators. These include Bihar, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand. The center is facilitating focused efforts to promote the reproductive and child health program in these states and analyze the state level differentials among the EAG states and the two non EAG states with respect to these indicators. Table 1 on your screen shows that among all the states Uttar Pradesh continues to be the most populous state in the country with a population of 199.8 million. The other EAG states that figure in the 10 most populous states of the country are Bihar that is 104 million, MP 72.6 million and Rajasthan 68.5 million. The population of 8 EAG states comprised nearly half that is 45.9 percent of the country's population in 2011. It has consistently increased from 43.4 percent in 1991 to 44.7 percent in 2001. It has been depicted in table 2 on your screen that in the decade 2001 to 2011 all of the EAG states except Odisha 13.9 percent have registered a higher growth rate than India's growth rate. Uttarakhand is the second best among the EAG states with a population growth rate of 19.2 percent. Among the EAG states, the highest growth rates were recorded in Bihar and Chhattisgarh 25.1 percent and 22.6 percent respectively, followed by Jharkhand 22.3 percent, Rajasthan 21.2 percent, MP 20.3 percent and UP 20.1 percent. The selected non-EAG states have a considerably lower population growth rate. Andhra Pradesh at 11.1 percent and Tamil Nadu at 15.6 percent. Trends in some key indicators of population planning. Among the indicators analyzed in this section are the proximate determinants of fertility and contraceptive prevalence rate that is CPR. This section also looks at the trends in method mix, the patterns in uses of permanent versus non-permanent methods of family planning and the unmet need for contraception. First of all, trends in total fertility rate in India. While studying the fertility trends in India depicted by table 3 on your screen, the EAG states and two non-EAG states, four indicators of total fertility were considered. TFR, the most widely used measure of fertility was 2.4 for India in 2011. Among the EAG states, Bihar was positioned at the top of the table with a TFR of 3.6, 
UP with a TFR of 3.4 placed second in 2011. Bihar and UP have had the highest TFRs throughout the historical period. A declining trend is prevailing in all of the EAG states and the two known EAG states with different trajectories. The slowest decline was recorded in Bihar during three decades and other EAG states resisted a moderately healthier decline of more than 40 percent during the referenced period. In the last four decades, major portion of this decline occurred well before 2000. During the last decade, fertility in both of these states has plateaued in the range of 1.7 to 1.8. Next is trends in contraceptive use and method mix. Table 4 on your screen shows that the latest AHS 2010-11 estimates of contraceptive use popularly known as CPR for EAG states reveal that modern contraceptive use is highest in Rajasthan 59% followed by MP 57%, Uttarakhand 55% and Chhattisgarh 50% and lowest in UP 32%. Contraceptive use in Bihar and Jharkhand was at a moderate 38 percent in 2010-11. In different surveys, all of the major EAG states have shown an increase in the use of contraceptives. The CPR as per NHFS surveys showed that the overall contraceptive use in India for any modern method increased from 36.5 percent in 92-93 NFHS1 to 42.8 percent according to NFHS2 to 48.5 percent in 2005-6 according to NFHS3 representing a 0.9 percent average annual increase. Data from DLHS on contraceptive use also showed similar results with an increase in CPR from 42.5% in 1998-99 according to DLHS1 to 45.7 in 2002-2004 according to DLHS2 to 47.1 in 2007-2008 DLHS3 an average annual increase of about 0.5 percent over a period of 9 years. Analysis of the data from DLHS2 and 3 and AHS for all of the EAG states shows that Bihar, Chhattisgarh, MP, Rajasthan and UP showed an upward trend in the CPR. Next is trends in female sterilization. Female sterilization is the primary method of family planning in all the EAG states including India and other non EAG states. Table 5 on your screen shows that 3 fourth of the users of modern contraceptives in India have adopted female sterilization with a little more than 1 percent using male sterilization that is according to 2007-8 DLHS3. The proportion of limiting method users has hardly changed over different survey periods from NFHS1 in 92-93 to DLHS3 in 2008-2009 for the country. In most of the EAG states, female sterilization accounted for 
percent of modern method used, with the exception of UP and Uttarakhand. In UP, however, female sterilization accounted for about 56 percent of modern method used, while spacing methods accounted for 44 percent. In Uttarakhand, spacing methods contributed more than 38 percent spacing methods contributed to about 10 to 15 percent of modern method use in the other EAG states. Over the last 18 years, a declining trend in the prevalence of male sterilization and intrauterine contraceptive devices has been noted in most of the EAG states. Next is trends in acceptance of various family planning methods. The acceptance of female sterilization has increased nationally. In the EAG states and in the other states, use of IUCD has remained stagnant, while male sterilization has declined. Table 6 on your screen shows that sterilization users has declined from 4.9 million to 4.7 million. IUCD users has marginally increased from 6.17 million to 6.18 million. Number of users of condom and oral pills have also increased considerably sterilization achievements. Table 7 shows that MP and Jharkhand have made a substantial improvement in sterilization performance since 2006-2007. Bihar has also shown improvement in performance. UP on the other hand despite having a high unmet need for limiting methods has shown no improvement in performance. Intrauterine contraceptive devices achievements. Table 8 on your screen shows that acceptance level for the IUCDs. It showed a drastic improvement in the 1990s, maintaining momentum until 2001 to 2002, after which it declined in the latter part of the last decade. This declining trend was observed in the known EAG states as well. In 2006, the government made new strategy to reposition the IUCD resulting in a positive shift in the acceptance of IUCD in the EAG states, especially Bihar and Jharkhand. In Andhra Pradesh, IUCD use declined after 2009, whereas in the case of Tamil Nadu, a mixed trend can be observed. Number of condom users. Table 9 on your screen shows that there has been a drop in the acceptance of condom users in the country, especially after 2007-2008. A similar trend has been observed in the EAG states of UP, MP and Rajasthan. However, Bihar has been an outlier, showing an increase in the acceptance of this method. In the known EAG states too, the acceptance of this method has declined, especially after 2008. Number of oral pills users. Table 10 on your screen shows that there has been a drop in the acceptance of oral pill users in the country, especially after 2007-2008.
A similar trend has been observed in the EAG states of UP, MP and Rajasthan. However, Bihar has been an outlier showing an increase in the acceptance of this method. In the known EAG states too, the acceptance of this method has declined, especially after 2008. Next is unmet need for contraception. Unmet need for family planning is an indicator that represents the proportion of sexually active women who do not wish to get pregnant yet fail to use contraceptions to prevent pregnancy. It is comprised of two measurements, unmet need for spacing and unmet need for limiting. Unmet need for spacing represents those women who do not want a pregnancy now but may in the future. Unmet need for limiting refers to women who report not wanting any more children overall. Unmet need remain low with unmet need for limiting being larger than that for spacing. Table 11 on your screen shows the data on unmet need for contraception reveals that 12.8 percent of currently married women in India have an unmet need for family planning according to NFHS 3 2005-2006. The unmet need for limiting 6.6 percent is slightly higher than the unmet need for spacing 6.2 percent. The decline in the unmet need for spacing 8.3 percent to 6.2 percent was higher than the decline in limiting methods that is 7.5 percent to 6.6 percent between NFH and NFHS 3 2005-2006. However, the unmet need increased reaching 21.3 percent as estimated by DLHS 3 according to 2007-2008 for India. Higher levels of unmet need have been recorded in all three rounds of DLHS compared to the three rounds of NFHS. Next, Outlay under family welfare program. The family planning service is free service since its inception in 1952. The central government provides the full support to states in providing family planning services. As a result, the cost of family planning is directly borne by central government. Even to a promoter, the use of family planning services incentives were provided to acceptors before 1996. Here, we review the plan wise outlay for family welfare services. It is given in table 12. From the table, it may be noted that there is continuous increase in the outlay over the years. The outlay during the first plan period was 0.65 crore increased to 5 crores in second plan and was 6195 crores in eighth plan. This is an indication of increasing expenditure on family welfare program. Now next is results and outcomes of various planning strategy. The results or outcomes of various family planning strategies over more than 5 decades are depicted in table 13. The crude birth rate declined from 40.8 in 1951 to 21.8 in 2011 and total fertility rate per women also declined from 6 to 2.4 due to the 
various measures adopted to control births with improvement in maternal and child health care better medical facilities control over killer disease the death rate and infant mortality rate have been considerably reduced while the crude death rate declined from 25.1 in 1951 to 7 in 2011 the maternity and child health care and family planning program adopted over the years have not only increased the couple protection rate but also life expectancy at birth for both male and female population the couple protection rate increased from 10.4% in 1951 to 40.4% in 2011 the life expectation at birth for male rose from 37.2 to 64.6 and for female from 36.2 to 67.7 over the period these results also reveal that india is following the demographic transition pattern of the third stage where the death rate is declining faster than the birth rate due to better medical facilities maternity and child welfare programs of the government to sum up it can be stated that india has a long history of addressing population issues through policy and programs which have not been able to yield the desired results the pace of decline in both fertility and mortality has been slower in the empowered action group states it is therefore important to focus efforts and resources in these states integrated programs that can address health needs of the people more effectively and efficiently should be implemented several promising contraceptive technologies are currently in the pipeline but these technologies must collaborate with planning and implementing program long years of experience in developing contraceptive technology and undertaking field based operations research on family planning programs has provided valuable lessons if these key principles are operationalized it would be possible to develop appropriate contraceptive technology that can be effectively delivered by the national program and used by its client with this we come to the end of today's lecture in the next session we shall discuss another related topic thank you very much mm-hmm.